Hi everyone, welcome to Marrying Bees YouTube channel. So today is the second day uh, about uh, diesel engine governors. In first session, we have discussed um, about mechanical governors and their operational arrangement, the drawbacks. So due to these drawbacks, especially due to lower um, governor effort, uh, we have to find out another solution to overcome this uh, lower governor effort. So in that case, the servo hydraulic governor, uh, they have discovered. In this whiteboard you can see in left hand corner, uh, this is a physical view of actual governor. This is a Woodward UG8 uh, governor. So, and the middle part, this one is the same uh, arrangement almost as we discussed in mechanical governor. You can see the bolt head arrangement, this conical spring, and only here we can see some dissimilarities. So in this servo hydraulic governor, we have introduced some uh, hydraulic part. Here we are supplying some hydraulic oil. And from this uh, hydraulic oil, we utilize to uh, drive a server or power piston. So this power piston is connected to the fuel throttling device. I mean uh, the fuel rack of the diesel generator. So whenever this piston moves down, it will decrease the fuel to engine. And when this piston moves up, it will increase the uh, fuel to engine. Now let's discuss how this system works. Right, uh, here, suppose due to some reason, the engine speed is uh, dropped, then the fly weights will move inward, causing uh, the pilot valve to move down because this bell crank will uh, get lower and the spe speed of spring will push against this bell crank due to there will uh, the lowered centrifugal force fly weights will move inward then the bell crank will lower down and which will cause in return pilot piston a uh, pilot valve to move down then this high pressure oil will enter to the bottom of the servo piston and then the servo piston will move up increasing the fuel to engine uh, in case of speed uh, increment uh, due to sudden load decrement the action will be in a reverse so fly weights will move outward uh, then the pilot valve will lift up and it will uh, drain the oil from uh, power piston under area and uh, due to uh, lifting and opening of drain line and uh, you can see whenever there are this uh, there's a speed change then there will be a uh, fuel rack adjustment but the problem this is almost uh, same in mechanical governor actually only this uh, hydraulic part is not there apart from this hydraulic part the other operational arrangement is same so that means same like in a mechanical governor there will be a oscillating output behavior in this governor that means our set point is there but the governor will whenever the speed is reduced then it will try to recover the speed and it will overshoot and then again it will drop try to decreasing and lowered then again trying to recover and it will oscillate around this its set point so uh, we have to find some solution to maintain a steady output uh, more better regulation so in that case we have to go for another uh, arrangement so that we call a uh, feedback arrangement or we call it a droop governor we can use to have stable uh, more precise controlling and here i would like to draw your attention about this conical spring because uh, rather than using a parallel spring we are using here conical spring or we call it as a trump uh, trumpet shaped spring because this shape of a uh, spring will give more uh, constant uh, spring ratio that means uh, more constant uh, rate of behavior uh, against the uh, centrifugal force 
so it is a more linear characteristic it will have and also the solid height is less in this shape of uh, spring solid height means uh, you know when we compressing a, a spring there will be a state that uh, no longer compression is possible so it will be like a solid act so it will be like a solid piece so this height we call it a solid height so this shape of uh, springs have less solid height so it will make more sensible and it will allow this uh, plunger to i mean the pilot valve to uh, move uh, further and have a smooth operation so then uh, we will move to our next session uh, discussing about feedback arm and uh, group governor arrangement this diagram shows uh, governor with a feedback arm this normal arrangement that we have already discussed apart from that we have introduced a new arm it's a feedback lever that we can see it's top it is connected to the fuel uh, rack controlling lever this is the same power piston only difference is that uh, to make it easy uh, i have taken this um, piston rod upside one side is connected to this piston rod and the other uh, end is hinged somewhere and the middle it is connected to this speeder spring so now we will discuss what is happening here in the previous as this in the previous case suppose the speed is getting lower so then the fly weights will move inward it will cause the pilot valve to move down then this high pressure oil will enter to serve our piston uh, downside then it will push against the spring will causing to increase the fuel to engine so now the engine uh, will start to increase accelerate in the same time another thing is happening because this feedback lever will moves up causing it will pivot from this point and it will move to another new position somewhere like this so this point will move it up the hanging point of the speed spring will move bit up causing to pull this pilot valve back closing the opening port and then it will stop further uh, ingress of oil to power piston which will maintain and stabilize at a level so the engine speed will settle in this uh, speed and you can see as there is a positive increment always there will be a negative pulling back that means the closing arrangement as the speed is recovering as the uh, fuel is increasing due to this feedback lever there will be a negative action to close this fuel uh, the oil so then the uh, rpm will settle at a lower rpm so if suppose this is the output so due to the speed decrement the governor has in uh, this increase the fuel then it moves up and then due to uh, feedback leave up it creates again and then it settling the in a lower speed value when there is a proportional action there will be offset so that we close the we, we uh, will um, tell this as a, uh, we will uh, named it as a drew the governor drew because our speed set speed is somewhere here but with the drew arm it will settle at a lower rpm now we have discussed about uh, what this is a servo hydraulic governor with feedback arm so in case of feedback arm we can see it's prevent the hunting all throughout the uh, operation but it settle uh, value lower the uh, set value 
So which means if you want to have isochronous governor without uh, having this object, then we have to find another solution. So then we will move to in the next session. It is about the governor with the compensation arrangement. Let's see how that compensation governor is. Okay, so our next move is to study about hydraulic servo governor with compensation. This governor is actually, this arrangement, what I show him, shown here is isochronous governor with the compensation. We can see in this diagram, uh, this arrangement is a bit familiar. Same as this previous uh, hydraulic governor we have discussed. Only separate difference is, you can see this pilot well, uh, it is taken out from this uh, straight uh, connection. And uh, apart from that, it is connected. Uh, to another horizontal lever and this horizontal lever uh, left end is connected to the speeder spring and the right end is connected to the other uh, what we call a receiving piston. Um, here in this new arrangement this section uh, okay suppose uh, this area uh, this section we call it compensation compensation or we call it also reset action reset action now we'll see how this works in this new section we can see a transmitting piston and there is a receiving piston and needle valve well reservoir and some trapped oil let's see Suppose, uh, again, due to some speed reduction, these ply weights will move uh, inwards. Then, this lever will move down, causing this horizontal bar to pivot from this point, from this point, and it will move to uh, this, new, this new point. Okay, it will move to suppose okay somewhere like this sorry trigger new position causing this pilot valve to move down and as it's moved down this oil will enter to bottom of the servo power piston and then it will increase the fuel to engine At the same time this small horizontal lever will pivot from this point and it will twist or uh, it will uh, move like this and causing this transmitting piston to uh, move down it will push this oil against the receiver piston and this receiver piston then will move up causing this horizontal lever which was uh, previously at this position and now pivot in this position it will move it will it will lift this one as this one move up it will lift somewhere here and causing this pilot valve moves up and shutting the uh, oil port then the engine will set uh, will remain at uh, lower rpm same like that the uh, previous feedback uh, governor because even though there is no fixed mechanical leaving lever arrangement as soon as this fuel start to increase this lever there will be a negative action from this transmitting piston and the receiving piston as a collective uh, output there will be a negative uh, feedback so it it is causing speed reduction and the system will temporarily stable at a, a lower speed value but what will happen there's a valve arrangement needle valve arrangement depending upon this the setting of the valve the oil trapped in this area will escape sweep to the oil reservoir and 
it will cause to reduce the pressure inside this chamber and then this spring will uh, extract and causing receiving pistons to again move down and then this lever again will stabilize at its normal position which means in returns uh, while this stabilization again it will allow some oil to move here and to increase the fuel and to maintain the governor rpm at our desired value so the the droop or the before the speed uh, reduction is it was not it is not a permanent one it's a transient one it's a temporary one so we call it as a transient group in this governor we will have a transient group but it will not have a permanent group so this governor is an isochronous governor with a transient group arrangement in, in the exams they are asking about uh, the governor of uh, such governors in that case that you have to draw uh, the governor with transient group you have to include this compensation so we better we discuss if what will happen if we keep this needle valve uh, fully open or fully closed or incorrectly adjusted so suppose this if this needle valve fully closed then what will happen it act as it will act as a feedback lever so the governor always will have a uh, droop action so it will uh, settle at a lower rpm and it will cause uh, act as a droop governor in other case suppose if this valve is fully open so then there will be uh, oscillation that means it will uh, more or less like normal mechanical or governor so it will be not with the feedback or stable operation not will be not, not be there so it is something like that uh, this part is not uh, operational so if this valve is fully oper open then this oil will sweep out partly uh, apart from its uh, trying to pushing this uh, receiving piston oil will the pressure will release from this needle valve to the reservoir and then it will cause to uh, hunt I mean, uh, it will oscillate uh, around the set point. So to have a steady control of the governor, it is utmost important to adjust the needle in correct way. Normal procedure is that uh, we have to adjust the needle well until the engine operation is stabilized. Then another uh, quarter turn we can close further so then it is adjusted so we can say it is adjusted so sometimes this needle valve we are using to uh, remove the air trapped in the system uh, because this oil whether it is trapped here whether it is trapped here this same oil in the practical element it will be a same oil so this is about a hydraulic servo governor with compensation Mm, and this action we call it the reset action because uh, you know in control uh, terminology we call this first part is proportional action and the second part is proportional and integral action of the reset action so this is a uh, reset action uh, this is a proportional and reset action both are included in this arrangement right uh, in our next video we will discuss about load sensing and speed sensing governors because uh, before happening any speed change always there should be a load change so the first thing happened is increment or decrement of load depending on that then only start is uh, speed is affected so if we have any arrangement to detect the um, change in load then our responses will be more faster so then we'll move to uh, study about speed and load sensing governor so then we will have more accurate and more uh, responsive arrangement mm -hmm.